How's it going, y'all? This is Ryan De La Garza with another Desmos demo diving into our computation layer. So today I want to take a look at the number sync, but specifically the number sync used with an action button to make things appear on our graph components. So great example of this, Mr. Nick Corley for February 2020's Match My CL Challenge, where we had to provide feedback using a sync or a uh, something in the CL. He did a great job here where students can come in and they can draw on their graph, right? Trying to sketch this function. Uh, and then I can come in, uh, I think something like that. And I can press my button and bam, the graph appeared. Dang, I actually did better than I thought it was going to do. Cool. So how do we make that happen, right? What's, where's the magic going? So let's break it down. So I have everything set up for us here. I've labeled some stuff. I have our function already created. Um, my action button, I like to label act for action. So this is act two because we're on slide two. If we look at Nick's, he did button. Um, you can use whatever you want. Uh, that's just kind of what I like to do. So if you see some differences, if you're comparing ours, that's where that's coming from. So this starts in the graph, uh, in our graph layer, right? So we're looking at our sketch element, but I have a graph here. So if I come in right now, my function is showing, but I want it to disappear. So what I'm going to say is I only want to see this function when a is greater than zero. So I'm just creating a number a. I'm going to say when that number is greater than zero, I want it to be shown. So let's look at, we're going to create a uh, kind of range of numbers here. So I'm going to let it go from zero to one. So if it's zero, it's gone, right? Because this tells my graph only graph this if a is greater than zero. So as soon as I get bigger, my graph appears, right? So sweet. It works with the slider, but I want the computation layer doing the work. So let's jump into here our sketch components computation layer and I'm going to make a number called a so by doing this I'm gonna hijack that slider value and now it's gonna get a is gonna get its value from the computation layer in the value of a I want some options when my action button has a press count so every time you press an action button it's adding to a running count so when the press count is greater than zero I want the value to be one Otherwise, I want the value to be zero. So this is going to say that slider value is no longer there. Now, A is going to be one if it's been pressed at least one time. Otherwise, it's going to be sitting at zero. So let's come in. Let's test it out. So if I'm coming on my sketch, let's see. I uh, know I'm going to have a zero here and I'm going to have a zero here. And let's maybe swoop down like that. Boom. Hey, not too bad. All right. And that's how we make it work, right? So let's review here. I wanted to make a number for my graph, right? And I wanted to call it a, so I put the name inside my parentheses and when the action button, in my case, act two was pressed at least one time, I wanted it to have a value of one right? So that would turn on my graph. And otherwise, it has a value of zero if the button has not been pressed. Okay, so that's how uh, I set things up in there. Quick note about the number sync as well. You can also pull numbers from other components like tables or inputs. Um, but in this case, we just defined it in the CL. So you have some different options there. So that's the rundown of the number sync with the action button. You can do some great things there. Um, and it kind of goes with Dan Meyer's idea of you can always add back, but you can never take away. So if you want to have something that uh, a scaffold or a support that you want to show, um, and you don't want it to be there from the beginning, but if kids need it, they can pull it up. This is a great way to make that happen. So happy Desmosing, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and we'll catch you all next time.